Well, how do there, Charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves, and today, Charms, I'm jumping into Power Worlds, let's jump on over into game, shall we, and I'm going to be taking on the end boss, at least I think I'm taking on the end boss, we're going to give it a freaking crack, people, so we're going to fast travel as close as I can to where the end boss is, there's all this sort of stuff that I've got on my person, I've filled up my food bag this time, because I know it's going to be a tough battle, and I think it's in a cold area, so I'm going to put on my cold armour just in case. And let's head on over. Now, I think the end boss is a, probably a shadow creature, because its name is Shadow Beak. Right, so I've hit fast travel. So I've looked on the map where it is, that's all I've done really. And it's sort of off over this way, over somewhere. Okay, right, let's go there. Transfer. And it's sort of in the, the that sort of area of the map, you know. Okay, let's see if we can get there. Right, so I need my pterodactylian. There we are. Let's go, pigeon! Okay, so I want to kind of go north-westerly, I think. Hold on, look, I can see the tower. There it is, over there. Astral Mountains! Okay, we're heading over to the Astral Mountains then, people. Holy fudge, this is pretty snowy! As it is! Okay, right. It could take me a little while to get up to the top of this astral mountain. Lucky I put on my snow gear, right? Thank yes. I'll see you when I get somewhere close. <laughs> right, well, I've arrived, located at the top of said mountain where everything goes a bit squiffy. I mean, look at that line over there. What's that all about? Anyway, let's hit on up this, because fast travel points. Why the fudge not? I guess. Lovely jubbly. Oh, we've got a chest as well. Let's go and open that. I'm going to swap into my other armors before I go inside of that dungeon. We've got some bread. Nice. Let's head on down then. What's over here, though? There's like some sort of weird structure and all sorts going on over there. An egg down there as well that I can see. Freaking majestic. Anyway, I digress. We're heading in to take on the boss. Now, I've got quite a decent party with me. So I've got a couple of dragons with me. I'm going to be using Jormantide, mostly. Right, so let's uh, let's feed that bread to Jormantide. Let's make sure he's got lots of health. There you go, Jormantide. Eat up. Might as well make sure everything is fully charged. Okay, I think I'm ready, I guess. Let's, let's slip that armor on. And let's get in there before I take too much damage. Let me in. Yes! Let me in! Brilliant, eh? Mm, cutscene time. And the last guy had an awesome cutscene. He had a whole freaking army with him. I thought that was the boss. And I thought I'd done him in the wrong order for a second. What's with the blindfold? Okay, you are creepy! Creepy! You have a capital oh. creep. Okay. What's this guy's name? I don't know. You don't see much of these guys drawing the actual playthrough, do you? You don't hear much of them. Oh, that's a cool pigeon! Oh, his name is Victor. Victor and Shadowbeak. Here we go. You're going down, Victor. I guess you are. Right. I'm going to put... Uh, you out. I choose you! Uh-oh. What are these purple balls? Ah! They freeze you. They freeze you. Solid. Take that, Shadow Big! Whoops, wrong button. I have to really remember that it's R1 to reload. Whoa! Oh no, you don't! Ah! Fudging what, mate? You're coming home hard, me. Did you see that, people? Did you freaking see that? Get him, John and Tide! Ah, you get back! I need to just, just stay out of the way of his freaking attacks, mate. Especially now, I need to get recharging. Uh oh! Oh no! Run like the freaking wind! Reload. Whoa, fudge! He's fast. Fudge you, mate! The only thing is, I've got to keep attacking him, because otherwise I'm going to run out of time. Get that reloaded. Whoa! They're right behind me. The attacks are shite, man. They, they home in. 
Ja! Holy mackerel! Yeah! Take that! That teacher. Those things are deceptionally quick. Deceptively. Deceptively quick. Right, I've got full health now. Whoa! No, you don't, mate! Die! Ah, froze me! Don't oh, yeah, you get back! What? I missed! Shite! I aimed right at the human on top. I thought that would do more damage. There you go. Have that, pigeon. Oh no. Ah! That attack again! I hate that attack! That attack's freaking horrible! Horrible, I tell thee! Get him, Jormatide! He hurt me bad! Okay, fire crossbow, fire crossbow. Let's see if we can get him on fire. If I can get fire damage on him, he's going to take damage slowly. But yeah, that, 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 that's good. At least he's taking damage the whole time while I'm reloading and stuff. Boom! Holy fudge, Jormantide! Did I do that to Jormantide? Hopefully I didn't. Get him, Chillet! Chillet's a bit freaking weak. And then two minds about bringing Chillet along! Oh my god, that's my shield gone! No! Ah. No, 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 no! Man, he's getting me good. Load, load, load. Fire crossbow. Load that as well. Ah! No, I think I'm dead. He got me, people. He freaking got me. He's too tough. He's too tough. I need to rethink what sort of pals to bring in here. I think I want to bring in a fire type and set him on fire because swapping to a fire crossbow to do that damage is just too much. Yeah, let's head back to base and let's rethink this, people. Okay, I want to breed myself an awesome fire monster. Okay, chums, well, looking at the old pal guide from Blazermoot, the one I want isn't something that I can actually create all that easily. He's somewhere around here, I think. Somewhere amongst all of this. So, yeah, let's just um, jump over there and we'll see if we can find him. I think he's in some sort of cave or something. We'll have a look around for him. Oh, fudge. Wrong armour. Okay, right. Let's put on my fireproof armours. Let's call out my pigeon. Where's my pigeon? There he is. Alright, let's have a look around then. So I think I need to head north. I've already looked in that cave. He's not in there. I think I've got to head north anyway. Somewhere around here is where Blazer Moot is. I just looked at a rough general location for him, so I don't know where he is exactly. I'm hoping it puts a big giant icon on the map for him. There's some sulphur down there. Let's have a look around this way. Oh, what's that big pile of bones over there? Maybe somewhere around there. Well, let's go further inland. Let's go this way. We'll just see if it pops up on the map. I think it's somewhere around here, anyhow. That's what it looked like. If I can't find the exact location, I might have to watch an actual video on how to find him or something, you know? Another guide from somebody else. Somebody better than me at Power World. Okay, well, I'll carry on looking, and I'll let you know if I find him. Right there, so there he is, right there. Let's, um, let's see if we can get him, then. He's somewhere up here. Uh-oh! Oh, but I jumped off my freaking pigeon then. Okay, so somewhere around here, to the west of me. 
Is there some sort of, I don't know, hole or one of those Elden Ring type looking things? Hmm. Well, it looks a bit squiffy around here, to be honest, doesn't it? Let's have a look at the map. Am I on him now? Oh, he's just south of me now. He must be up here. What the flying fudge? Okay. On top of this thing? Maybe? Well, I can always just get off my pigeon at the top of here and we'll have a look down and see if we can spot him. Yeah, let's get to the vantage point. Let's get to the top of this thing. Fly, my pigeon, fly! I don't want to run out of stamina before I get up there. Keep going, keep going. You know you want to. Keep going up. Okay, right. Well, um, let's jump off the pigeon. Let's have a little look-see around, eh? Right. Apparently, I'm right on it. Not that I can see him. Come back into my hand, little pigeon. Hmm, so it's somewhere around here. Maybe there's a cave at the foot of all of this. Well, there's a red egg there. Let's jump down to the red egg. Whee! Well, that's going to take ages. Oh, yeah. Might as well get the egg. Okay, I'm still right yeah, on chums. I've come across what looks like a scorching mine shaft. It's actually signposted as such. Oh, look, there's a... There's a... No, I haven't got one of them. Oh, I better not use that. Okay, come back, little guy. Hopefully we're going to catch that. I don't think I've got one of them. Sweet! Pyrin knot. Nice. No, I haven't got one of them. Okay, I reckon it's inside this cave here. So let me show you on the map where it is, because it wasn't easy. It's sort of north of him. So it, it might not even be him. Let's go on in then. This might be a mistake. Okay. Am I any closer to him? I am getting closer to him. Oh, fudge. What if he's a... I should have brought some water types with me. I've got ice. Yeah. Whoops! Wrong freaking button! Okay. We will keep those ones, but... um. Oh, damn. Oh, I have got a water type. That's good. Bring him back. Sweet. There he is. That's him. Wakey, wakey. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've done a lot of damage to him. Hopefully I won't kill him. Okay, Jormatide, get back in your ball. It's time to throw balls at this guy. Play that. What the fudge? What the flying fudge? Okay, I've got one legendary ball. I should have come with better balls. Yeah. Go on, please catch him. I've only got one. Oh, for fudge sake. I'm going to have to kill him. But at least we know how to get back here now. Boom. Take that in the freaking face. Right. I'm going to have to head back to um, base. And uh, yeah. Oh, my God. What did I just pick up? A whole load of sulfur. All right, fine. Well, let's just... Try and pick up all this stuff as well. Sweet. We've got some coal as well and some flame organs. All right, mate. Well, that would teach you a lesson, wouldn't it? That would teach you a freaking lesson. Okay, right. Um, i better drop some of this then. We'll, we'll just drop the coal, I think. Now, hopefully, I can move. No, I still can't move. Okay. Uh, we'll take half of that and drop that. Now, can I move? Almost. We'll take half of that then as well. Budget heck. There we are. 
Okay, now I need to get out of this place, get back to my base, sleep the night a couple of times, make some awesome balls, and we're going to come back and try and capture him again. You know what, chums? I might want to fast travel back here quite quickly, so... Um, I was thinking about putting down that. But I haven't got no palladium rocks with me or anything like that. Okay, well, I guess what I'm going to do is bring up the old map screen. And I'm just going to put a point there. Yeah, where my freaking triangle is? Oh, my days. This is so sensitive on the old Xbox controller. Okay. Oh, nearly. Okay, that's going to have to blink and do. Just there. X. And I'm going to put a little monster sign. There we go. Okay, right, I've got to get to the nearest fast travel point and then we need to get back home. So, fast travel point, where are you? Holy fudge. There's nothing in near Proxima time. Come on, budgie! So seriously, no fast travel points around here. Really? Okay, fun times. Ah, there's um. A boss tower up there, but that's freaking miles away. Surely there's... Ah, there's one down there. Okay, cool. Let's head there then. We'll take note of that fast travel point so we can get back to where we was. Okay, I'll see you back at base, people. The nearest fast travel point is foot of the volcano, and it's just there on the old map. Okay, people. Yeah, I'm making some legendary balls, and I'm doing that on my sort of owl sphere workbench level two. It takes quite a lot of freaking commodities to make these things, and it takes quite a lot of time too. Hold on, I think I've probably got a pal that can help with that. Go get it, mate! There we go, that's helping a little. A bit quicker. Right, so I'm going to make a load of legendary spheres. I'll make these three, and then I'm going to make a freaking crud ton more, I'm telling you. And I have at least a dozen before I go back there. Yeah. Right, chums. Well, I've been slaving away for quite a while. And I've managed to get myself ten of them. Um, I might get myself another two. And wait until it goes from night to day once more. Yeah, might as well, mightn't I? Brilliant. So I'll just give some health back to those guys. And I'll reconvene in a bit. Welcome back, chums. Well, I'm doing some breeding as well. I'm hoping to get myself a Phalaris, the, the other boss that I had, you know, the fire sort of dragon, by breeding these two together. And then I'm hoping to get myself a chillet, a very good chillet, by breeding these two together. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go pick up one of these eggs and let's go stick it in one of these incubators over here. And I'm going to be breeding like 10 of these. And I want to have a really good chillet with some very ferocious skills of what I'm hoping for. Because I'm thinking a chillet can freeze the end boss. And then I want this one to add burn onto it. And why it's frozen if I'm using the chillet, I can reload my cannon to shoot it in the freaking face. So I have got a little method to my madness. This is going to take a little while to get all these charged up. I have... Oh, what? No female and male present. Oh, I've put two males in there. Oh, for fudge's sake. All right, so that one... Okay, right, let's let's take him out then. So I need to get a female Anubis. A female Anubis. All right, fine. Female Anubis it is. Let's go on over here. Dang it! And I was lucky I checked, because I was about to go and freaking try and catch that um, fire guy again. So female Anubis. Female Anubis. Well, there we go. Level 29. Just seeing if they've got anything decent. They're both the same. So let's replace out the Anubis that's there already. Run around quickly, grab it. Because it runs off and starts doing work almost immediately. Little shite bag. Right, here we go. Let's throw him in there. Chicka boom! There we are. Yes, the magic is happening. We already know this one's going. Oh, we've got our first chiller. Again, okay, let's have a quick look soon. Let's have a look at that chiller then. Pow! Oh, it's got Artisan and Stronghold Strategist by not a... Okay, brilliant. Okay, that, that's pretty good. All right, fine. Now, before I go and fight that um, fire-type guy, what I might do is just get some Palladium from here if I can. Brilliant. And a little bit of rock from there. I don't want all that rock, though. I just want a little bit of rock. There we are. Let's uh, just take just a smidgen of rock. Oh, I've already got rock anyway. Cool. Have I got enough to put down a POW deck, is what I'm thinking. 
I do, but that's registering from wherever it's registering that from. All right, fine. Let's just head on off then. And um, I, well, we just need to see if we've got those bits in our person. We have. We've got some wood. We haven't got a lot of wood on me. Uh, well, let's go cut down a bit of a tree. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to zoom on off. Oh, there's some trees over there actually. We'll go get some wood, and then I go and fight that um, fire guy again. Yes, I've got more than enough to put down a power box. I mean, I'm not going to build a base there. It's just so I can fast travel back there, so I don't have to muck about. Heck yes. Okay, right, so we should be able to fast travel back over. What party What party have I got at the moment? Could do with just swapping this bottom guy out now. Actually, I could keep him in my team, I guess, and have a fire one with it. With it. I don't know how good he is or isn't. Yeah. Yeah, okay, go on then. Cool. Anyway, I'll see you over there, people. Okay, Jums, well, I've arrived, decoded. What is this, anyway? Oh, sulfur. Right, fine. Okay, let's see if I can put down a base computer here, then. Boom. Pause must... Oh, yeah, I can. Brilliant. Let's uh, stick it right there. At least, then, if I want to change my pals out, if I want to come back here, catch some more, I can fast travel now right to the actual door. Heck yes, so I might not bother building another base. I might just use that as a little sneaky get around. Thank you. Go on, let's head on in then. And let's see if we can kill this guy this time. Right, I might use some of my rockets because that done a heck of a lot of damage last time. We can use this guy again. He's pretty darn sneaky. Hopefully he's back alive. It'd be nice if it told you on the main map if they were back alive. He is back alive, there he is. Boom. Let's get ready with my um, legendary sphere. Better not kill him. I'll call back in Jorman Tide. And I better swap to something else. Let's just go for a normal crossbow. Okay, that's not doing a lot of damage. Let's, um, let's use my lovely, lovely shotgun on him. Yeah, that done a bit. Okay, now let's see if he's going to go in. Only a 3% chance. Come on! Oh! Is he going to... No. Okay, shoot him again with a shotgun. And again. Shoot him again. And again. And try again. Come on, this is a legendary freaking ball, mate. Stay in there. Am I going to get him? I got him. Freaking got him. Thank you, yes, we did. Flame Emperor. Oh, no, he's got the glutton. He's got the glutton on him. Dang it. Okay, well, he's got a, he's got a red sort of indication on him. If we can get a couple of these, hopefully I'll be able to breed them together. Oh, fudge. What did I just pick up then? Alright, uh, I'm going to start chuck away some of this rock then, shall we? Yeah. Wow! Still overweight! And again. There we go. Get out of here. Sweet! Okie dokie. I'm going to get back out of this cave, head back to base, and I guess I'm going to have to sleep another two times now before I can actually go back and catch another one of these guys. But yeah, we've still got a load of creatures that are on the bake at the moment. I can put this guy into my team and hopefully get him up to level 50. I think I caught him at level 49 or something mental, so that's pretty immense. Right, let's head over here then. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Power box, let's have a look what level he is. Oh, he's awesome, isn't he? There we are. Blame Emperor, shame he's got the glutton on him. But yeah, I'll stick him over into my group now um, because we need to get him up to level 50 and look we can just fast travel back to my base which is pretty darn snaz cool so i'm just going to use that as a fast travel point that last base lovely huh let's go check on my eggs let's go see if we can put some into hatch we've got two here cool boom boom now my um, little firefox i've got in here is actually a boss firefox so that's pretty cool Hopefully we're going to get some better offspring using him. I don't know whether that's a thing or what. Put that in there. Put that one in here. Boom. Ooh, look at the size of that egg. 
brilliant. I'm gonna stick that in here. And yeah, so I've got, got all that on the go. Um, and in between breeding these, I'm gonna go and catch some more of those blazer moots. I'm hoping the next time that we can reconvene people inside the viewerverse that I've got myself the perfect sort of pal deck for taking on the boss. I really don't know who else I'm gonna have in. I'm gonna have Chillet, I'm gonna have Blazer Moot, but then I don't know who else to go for. If you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Who's really good for taking on Shadow Beak? Who's gonna make my job easy at ending this? Like yes, I mean, I do love playing Power World, don't get me wrong, but there is No Man's Sky coming out, like an update hopefully this month. And I am hoping maybe to still bring Nightingale to my channel, depending whether I get a key or not. But yeah, fingers crossed, people. Heck yes, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.